Okay, so let's have our continuation of the design of a rectangular concrete beam uh, with respect to flexure okay, or bending. So on our past lecture, um, we designed this beam, this specific beam for positive moment or positive bending. So definitely, the design natin yung beam at this point, okay, where the maximum positive moment occurs. Well, in this case, for this problem, we are required to design the beam at the fixed point okay so basically this fixed point is for negative bending okay that's why as you can see in the cross section here our required tension steel bars will be reinforced at the top portion of the beam okay so um, if the compression bar is necessary the centroid of the bars will be 60 millimeters from the extreme fibers. Okay, so this is our D prime. If needed, natin yung compression bars. Okay, step one for design, the factored moment. Okay, so the factored moment at point A or at the fixed point is 455 kilonewtons meter. Now, step two, to calculate the boundary moment. Okay, so we already calculated this boundary moment from our previous lecture. Okay, so I use the uh, boundary strain as 0.0054 um, tension control. Okay, so uh, recall I um, introduced two possible boundary moments na gagamit in sa exam. Okay, so in this one, I will use this one, 0 0.005 strain that is for tension controlled. And ito yung magiging boundary moment natin. Okay, it's PMNT. This is the design moment for transition limit. I mean for um, tension control. Okay? So again, we will compare our MU to the boundary moment and our MU here exceeds the boundary moment. Uh, that's the time na we will be needing the compression bars and we will design this as doubly reinforced. Okay? Now, mag-a-add na tayo ng compression bars dito. And that is 60 mm from the extreme fibers. That means this is just our D prime. Okay, next step. Okay, gather na natin yung mga datas. Then, of course, ipapakita natin yung stress diagrams para mas ma-understand yung uh, principle dito. Okay, so drawing this stress diagram. Of course, this is a negative bending. So, nasa ibaba yung ating compression of the concrete. Okay, and ito yung stress diagram natin for phase 1. Okay, so hahatiin natin to into phase 1 and phase 2 para mas um, ma-understand natin. Okay, and look at this na lang. Okay, ito yung effective compression block A. And this is our 0.85 FC prime stress. And that will result to a resulting force, resultant force compression of the concrete C. And ito yung tatawagin natin T1. Okay, so this phase is the stress diagram when the beam can carry or can be designed as singly reinforced. Okay, and these forces will create couple moment and let's call that MN1. Okay, ito yung common notation dyan. Now, our MN1 here is just our boundary moment for singly. So, this will represent the phi, I mean the MNT. Okay, ito yung magiging boundary moment natin. Now, by this time, if our MU, due to the factored load, exceeds the phi MN1 or our MNT, that's the time mag add na tayo ng compression bars. Okay? And let's call that C sub S, the compression of the steel. Now, to maintain equilibrium, dapat mag add din tayo ng force dito sa taas. And let's call that T2. And this will create the MN2. Okay, at ito yung ekikari, I mean the excess moment will represent this MN2 which ekikari ng ating compression bars. Okay, as you can see, if MU exceeds this uh, moment here uh, for our boundary moment, that's the time na tutulong na yung compression bar and ito yung ga, uh, uh, mag create siya ng resisting nominal moment MN2. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have the tension 1 and tension 2, of course, that will represent area times the stress or AS times FY. So, basically, we will calculate AS1 and AS2. Then, the total area of steel for tension, AS, 
is AS1 plus AS2, of course. Okay, so... Okay, so as you remember, since ginawa natin yung um, boundary na point zero zero five, so ito yung ginawa natin from our previous video pa rin. Okay, uh, calculating our um, strain, I mean the steel ratio for tension control. And ito yung makukuha natin AST, okay, for tension control dyan. And this one will represent our AS1. Okay, now we will calculate our um, AS2. That can be calculate, calculated by using this nominal moment too. So, basically, we will calculate the excess moment. So, ganito lang yan. I equate natin yung MU since that is a factored moment. I equate natin yan sa design moment. Okay? So, ganito yan. Our factored moment will be equated to the, the total design moment that is phi MN1 plus phi MN2. Then, if we will rearrange this, ito yung lalabas. Okay, so don't be confused of this. Okay, for my student, dito kayo nagkamali sa solution nyo, sa assignment nyo. Okay, that, ang ginawa nyo, that is MU over phi minus phi MN1. Dapat tanggalin nyo rin yung phi dito. Okay, kasi MN, nominal na yung kukunin natin. Tatanggalin din natin yung mga phi. Okay, so gets? So, substitute. MU is 455. Our MN1 Phi MN1 will represent the um, boundary moment, that one, divided by reduction factor 0.9. And that's the time we can get our excess moment dito. Okay, since we already calculated our excess moment, then step 4, tension steel area, kukunin natin. Okay, so that is just by equating the Phi MN2 by this force times the moment arm. Okay, so uunahin natin yung T2 dito always. Okay, pwede tayong mag-moment about T2, then calculate the CS. But for step-by-step -step, um, design, uunahin natin yung T2. Okay, since tension steel area yung kukunin natin dito. Okay, so T2. Then MN2, we have this substitute. Of course, our T2 is stress times area or AS2 times FY. Ito yung stress natin. Okay times the moment arm that will be d minus d prime and we calculated our as2 now after this our total area of steel bars that should be as1 plus, plus as2 and ganyan okay we have 1954 here as1 and as2 then that will give us 3338 millimeter squared that is for tension bars okay so of course if ipapahanap yung number of bars, then i-equate natin to sa pi over 4 diameter of the bar squared times the number of bars. Okay, so in that case, dapat natin in actual design, isiguro natin if kakasya ba siya sa uh, beam width. Okay, that is for the detailing section. Na. Okay, well anyways, uh, andito pa tayo sa the uh, theory. Okay, theory of designing of a rectangular beam. Now, Next step is the compression steel bars naman. Okay, na-design na natin yung tension steel bars. So, saan natin hahanapin yan? We will just equate um, T2 and CS dito. Kung maga, kung, I mean, uh, equilibrium dito sa phase 2 of the diagram. Okay, so, um, by that, that should be P T2 is equals to C sub S. Okay, and T2 is AS2 FY. Dapat FY rin ito. Okay. Then, our compression of the steel bars, that will be AS prime, that should be AFS prime. Okay, hindi pa natin alam. Now, in a uh, strength design, our FS prime should not be, uh, should not exceed the FY. Okay, so where can we find this FS prime? So, dito yun. Uh, diba, yung FS natin is derived from the strain diagram. The same lang din sa FS prime. Okay, so i-derive lang natin kasi hindi natin to napakita sa uh, first lecture natin. Okay, ganito yon. Okay, so strain diagram. Okay, so as you can remember, the maximum allowed um, strain for concrete is 0.003, that one. And this is the strain epsilon T. Okay, FS over ES. 
And this one will represent our compression bar, the strain of compression bar, Fs prime over Es. Okay, connecting that, ito yung strain diagram natin. Okay, so how can we derive our Fs prime? So take note that this is, okay, by ratio and proportion pa rin. Take note that this is our C, um, small c, okay? That is the distance from the neutral axis to the extreme compression of the concrete. Now, by ratio and proportion, always natin i-base yung ating steel bars sa concrete. Kasi, uh, logic dito is uh, parang ini-investigate natin kung sino yung unang mag-yield, either yung concrete or yung steel bars. Okay, and that um, strain should be linear. Okay, that is from the strength of materials. Okay, by ratio proportion, that will be that one, strain this Fs prime over Es divided by that, this uh, dimension here, that should be C minus D prime. Okay, kaya ganito siya. Is equals to 0 0.003 over C. And rearrange that, ito yung makukuha natin. Using Es, of course, 200,000 MPa. Okay, that is C minus D prime. Okay, so, um, essential tong na, memo na ma memorize nyo. Okay, para diretso diretso na sa solution. Hindi na dadaan sa strain diagram or derivation. Okay, so just memorize this. This is for the compression of the steel bars. Okay, so after that, of course, we have C dito. Ano yung gagamitin nating C? Okay, since ito yung boundary natin, okay, remember, our C should be 3, 8 over D. Okay, please recall on our previous lecture. And ito yung gagamitin nating C. And if we will substitute that C dyan to the formula, then it will give us this Fs prime. Okay, so I hope you can follow na this. Now, as you can see, that Fs prime did not exceed our Fy. That means ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay, allowed pa siya. If lumagpas siya sa Fy, then we will use Fy. Hindi pwedeng lumagpas yung strength design natin sa yielding point. Okay. So, if we will cross multiply this Fs prime dito sa ibaba, or we will just calculate our As prime, ito yung makukuha natin. As2 is 1384, Fy is 415 divided by Fs prime. And here, we calculated our compression steel area. Okay? So, that's it.